Hi everyone, it's Mangamix here. I hope you're doing really well today. We're playing some more of The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. It's actually in much better condition than it was last time. Hang on, look under the counter. What's that? Matt, are you under the counter? Will you be under the counter? I guess we're gonna have a quick look. Matt, are you there? Nothing. Matt's dead. Like Zed. I rhymed, kind of. The engine and the coal tender are burning stronger and harder. The airflow is feeding the flames. We probably... I have to decouple yeah. the wagons immediately. Sooner or later, the engine will be blown apart. We're not be on a time limit here. Otherwise, I'm in serious trouble. Look under the table. Well, there's Matt, obviously. He then did. Hey, there you are. What were you thinking? Ah, come out of there. Is he gone? Is who gone? Oh, the man. The raven. What man? What man? There was a man. He was coughing. One of the passengers? I think he came down from the roof. What's he doing on the train? What are you doing on the train anyway? Why didn't you wait in the tunnel with the other passengers? I... I wanted to get my pistol. Your pistol? If there's so many cops and thieves and explosions and everything, then I need a pistol too. Makes sense. All right. What? First, I'll stop the Don't train. Don't encourage him, Then we'll have sake. a chat, okay? Okay. Do you want to come out? Hmm. Good idea. You stay put. Okay, well, uh... What else do we have here? We have... Oh, what the, I want the emergency brake! There, this. Pull the emergency brake. Hold tight, Matt. It isn't working. Great. Damn. That makes things extremely complicated. Mm, what else do we have in here? Examine the handbag. What's in the handbag? I suppose this handbag belongs to Miss Miller, Matt's mother. Lady Westmacott's bag is probably smaller and more expensive. Okay, so what's in the bag? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's the pistol. We just give that back to Matt. That would make sense, wouldn't that? Um, then he can defend himself against the Raven. I, I hate the controls in this. Like, I really, it's like my main obstacle to having fun is the fact that. There we go. Matt, take the pistol and have a good day with it. Matt, look. Thanks. Cover me, okay? No problem. Don't encourage his delusions. Anyone else get to the next carriage? Okay. We got a train to stop, guys. We got to be a hero. We need a hero. A whole another. Okay, I'm done. Uh, what's in here? Oh God, something is. I can't get in. I presume the Baroness's luggage toppled over and is blocking. Or the, the door. Baroness herself. <laughs> I enjoyed that way too much. Okay, we're gonna go in here then. In that case. What do we have here? We have drink a glass of gin. I think this is definitely the My time. Situation isn't that desperate. It's kind of desperate, dude. Explore the corner cupboard. What do we have here? Uh, examine the towel. A large, soft towel. Very comfortable. I'll take the towel, I guess. I'll wrap it around my neck to keep my hands free. What are we going to need that for, though? Tell me. Oh, we can make the towel wet. The Maybe we can breathe through the fire. The damaged. The water is still running. Uh. Turn on the tap. Okay, I guess we have to just use the towel on the tap if it is the case. Yeah. It's soaking up the cold water. Awesome. Well done. <sighs> what have you got yourself into? Couldn't you have just let it be? But no, of course not. And now you're here, on an out-of-control <laughs> train in the Alps, responsible for the life of a child who'd be doomed without you. What are you waiting for, eh? Time to save the day. Damn fucking right, Zelda. Let's do this. Oh, I can we go and we look in the suitcase now? Professor Lucien's suitcase. Unlike the leather bag, he left it behind when he fled the train with the other passengers. I don't think there's anything interesting in it. Whatever the professor is hiding from me, it's in his leather bag. It's in his bags. <laughs> okay, let's go outside. 
Okay, so we've got a towel for some reason. I get. I, I think that might be to like breathe through flames because presumably the engine's going to be in a pretty fucking bad state. Uh, I guess we'll go down here and see what happens. Okay, so. Is there anything worthwhile in here? Well, we're about to find out anyway. We can't get in here. If the emergency brake doesn't work, I'll have to try something else. Try inserting ourselves. Here goes. Ouch! Hot! Well, we used the wet towel. Locked. Oh, fuck's sake. Why is there always a problem? Okay, there's got to be something I'm missing then somewhere else in the train. You can hardly see. I don't know how okay, much. Okay, we're gonna fuck that. No, no, don't move it again. There is definitely something we're missing. Oh Jesus Christ! Controls work. Look, I'm literally holding forward, and he's going back and forth. Oh, what? Take the axe? Oh, there's an axe. Yeah. An axe is for emergencies. If this isn't an emergency, I don't know what is. Okay, so we have an axe. Examine the emergency brake. The emergency brake either was damaged in the explosion or was sabotaged. But whatever, it's not working. I, I think I should try to uncouple the engine. I mean, how else can I stop the train? I don't know, dude. But we're gonna go and um, we're gonna go and hack this door down, I guess. Can I use the axe on the door? Break the door. Here we go. Come on. Put some effort into it. Come on, Zalna. You fuck. Okay. We'll do it the hard way. Oh, I thought that actually worked. <coughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This is not uh, good. Uh, oh. Come on, that's it. Well, yes, well done. This is going to be a very dangerous situation in here, I'm guessing. Uh, use the axe. I don't know what I'm doing here. Use the axe. Let's try this out. Oh, this is going well. This is really exciting! That should do the trick. Okay, uh, examine the coupling. The coupling won't release because it's under too much tension. Uh... I bought it secondhand last week. A new one must have... Uh... The engine is just a hook, but it won't... What am I gonna do to move the hook? There's, like, nothing else here. Oh, use the axe. Yes, that. That one. Dad, why did we save the world? <coughs> I have no idea. I guess we did it. I... <coughs> That's not just smoke. I can actually taste lumps of ash. It's time for my deputy sheriff's story. Oh, I showed you what just happened, but I have no I idea. I uncoupled the locomotive oh, we did it. Okay. at full speed. Not bad, eh? Do you think we'll get in trouble? Because of the locomotive? I don't think so. It was pretty old already. Come out, so we can have a chat. Why haven't we stopped the fucking thing? I checked the entire train. There's no one on it except for us. What an adventure. Oh, yeah. Tell me, what did you see on the train? <sighs> Well, oh, okay, it's good. Like it's good. It's important. Okay. I want to get my pistol. It's not a pistol. It's not real. Uh, this is as dark for me as it is for you guys. By the way, I, I cannot see a fucking thing. Got Matt walking through the train like an idiot. <coughs> Someone else is coming, coughing. Hide, that's it. He hides. Oh, it's the conductor. He was the raven all along. Who we saw briefly in the last video. 
Adieu. How the fuck didn't he hear that? That was a that was a really bad cutscene. I've no idea what happened. He dropped something. I think. I think that the conductor dropped something while the rain. Then... When the guy was gone, I got up and banged on the window. I wanted to get out of there, but then I thought, what if the guy can hear me from the next car? So I got scared and I hit again. You did well. He dropped an envelope. The envelope that the man lost. Where is it? I thought it might be important. I think it probably is really important. I think we should have a look. Hmm. Some cash. An Italian passport. Blank. Very okay, so interesting. So we're going to uh, Italy. And here, a ticket for... for... For the cruise! What? The tickets we have for the big ship from Venice to Cairo oh. look exactly the same. I guess we're going to Cairo, guys. May I keep it? What do you want to do with it? Insert it take a vacation. I mean, take a vacation. Anyway, we're going on the cruise, guys. That's actually kind of cool. It's evident. This is like death on the Nile and or some shit. my chance to go with you. The ticket and everything else in the envelope are part of my investigation. Shut up, I don't like this stage. And you have no part to play in Cairo. You have a really offensive if shirt, guy. If I like. hadn't given you the envelope, you'd have no proof that the Raven's heir would be on the ship. Ugh. The ship is his next chance to steal the We have eye. to stop him. And he won't give up until he has it. And that's precisely why you should let me come along. No. Um, I deserve to come along. I deserve to come along. <sighs> <laughs> what you did was extraordinary. Far more than anyone could have a right to expect from you. And you still want to leave me behind? I am how you say, You met our foe and barely escaped with your life. You may not be that lucky next time. It wasn't luck. It was his ninja you can scales. return to Switzerland with your head held high. Enjoy your triumph. I have not achieved anything yet. The fiend tried to kill us, and he's still at large. Um, events in the tunnel. What else did you find out in the tunnel? Not much. After we came out of the tunnel, Robert and I questioned the passengers. Which didn't turn up anything new. No. The engineer and the fireman were missing. They were found a few kilometers back on the track. Both claimed to have been overwhelmed by a shadow and thrown <laughs> off the train. But you don't believe that. I'm checking their stories. One of them may have been paid to eliminate the other one. How could the Raven's heir have found out about the trap? How was he able to put the dynamite in the box and place the letter? The dynamite was probably already in the box when I put it in the safe. I didn't. Well, check. you're an idiot then. You had no reason to you're do You're an so. idiot! It wasn't my only mistake. I knew someone was on the roof of the freight car, but I let myself be distracted by that damned letter. How did you know? Too late. I should have reacted instantly. I will come along. I'm coming with you. Full stop. The thief was able to place ten sticks of dynamite in a cash box right under my nose. For all we know, you could already be sitting on Maybe the next Maybe I am bomb. the next bomb. My moustache. You cannot come. We're gonna get on board somehow. But, Inspector... Why is he even driving us here anyway, if we're not coming? Shouldn't he just be, like, taking us in the opposite direction? We're here. I'm coming. We're gonna figure a way of getting on board the bike, guys. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. Da -da 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 -da. That wasn't anything like the actual song, but still. I'm gonna have a drink. My car pulls up. I just made a weird noise. An urgent telegram from Paris. Bad news? It's about the unfortunate events on the train. And to return to Paris and explain myself. I guess we're going but on the boat instead. What about the eye? They want to inform the Egyptian authorities that there might be a burglar. Should we go to Egypt, Egypt then? Might. Egyptian authorities? What if the jewel is stolen at sea? I know, I know. Zed now has to go with you now, you know? I never received it. Keep a close I watch left my on steam the loading on. of the Thank you for having me as a friend. Aye, sir. 
It was a pleasure meeting you, Constable Zelno. Um, Constable. What is the Constable's problem with me? I think he's jealous. Scotland Yard assigned him to assist me, just as you were sent by the Swiss authorities. Uh, with the distinction that he may go to Egypt. Robert is to accompany me at all times. Your mission was restricted to Switzerland. At this moment, I want to be sent back to Switzerland just as much as you want to be sent back to Paris. I know, but I'm walking on thin ice. And I can't carry you Especially through. in that shirt. Safe. And the second eye is in that safe? Yes. We're Emma. definitely going to get stolen. It's been kept in a bank in Zurich since It's so going to get stolen. I personally took it out of the bank vault and Professor Lucien certified that it was the real thing. And while a fake jewel was sent by train... The real one was brought here in an armored car. How is it protected? You can only open the safe if you have three special okay. keys. Professor Lucien has They're one, all gonna and Baroness Van They're Trevitz, all going to get killed. They're all going to get killed. for all this, as the second. The third was sent by air courier to Dr. Abbas Mokhtar, the director of the Egyptian Museum They're in They're all Cairo. dead already. They're all dead. So, not even you could possibly open the safe before it arrives in Egypt. That's correct. We don't want to make it too easy for potential thieves. Commendable. Telegram. I hope you're aware of the fact that you're risking your career. Indeed I am. Why do you care so much about this case? Someone pretends to be the Raven, and you promptly risk your career? I'll kill the first what Raven. if he's not just pretending? I will kill the second. What do you mean by that? It's his handwriting. And there's only one person who ever called me Nico. Have you ever considered the possibility that I shot oh, the wrong man? Oh, that is possible. The Raven. But... It means he shot the wrong man. That? Let us assume, just for a moment, that the person I shot and who fell from the roof was not the Raven. Who would have cared enough to uncover the truth? The chief of police? The politicians? No. They wanted to revel in a successful manhunt. And it was the best thing that could have happened to the Raven. The search for him was over. <laughs> he had no reason to fear me anymore. I had so many medals afterwards that he could hear them jingling kilometers away. And now he's back? And you're the only one who can stop him? Does that sound probable to you? The feathers, the letters, Nico. No one outside the police Maybe force knew policeman. that the Raven used to call me that in his letters. Policemen gossip, and there are plenty of forgers. You can't seriously intend to stake your reputation on such weak evidence. My reputation rests on something that I probably did not do. I have to find out who's behind all this. He's obsessed. Let's offer help. Let's review. One of the two most valuable jewels in the world was stolen. Obviously, the second one will it's be next. right next to us. And you suspect a legendary burglar who's been dead for five years. Go on. The second jewel is about to be put on board over there in a safe that requires three keys. Yes. Our thief may already have the first key, the archaeologist's key, from the train. We don't know anything about the status of the second key, which was meant to be air freighted to Cairo. We have to assume that he already has it. Therefore, there's just oh, one shit. key left. The Baroness. That's a serious problem. Correct. So, you'll need my eyes Damn right board. you will. Let me on. Look. You can keep your eyes open for me here on the wharf. I'd be most grateful. But when this ship sets sail, you will not, I repeat, not be on board. I'm gonna get on board. But, Inspector... We're dealing with a dangerous man. And I will pursue him regardless of the consequences. I won't let you get mixed up in this affair. It's still my decision. No, it's not. It's mine. And I've already made it. This guy's a douchebag. Good day, Constable Fuck Zelda. You. Yeah, walk away. Walk away. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the car, which I can't do anything with by the looks of things. Wish I could run. But I'm looking at the game plan because I pressed A by accident. Are we just getting on board? We're going on board, aren't we? 
I'll be marching up this gangway today, no matter what. Someone has to stop that damn bomber before he endangers more people. Damn right they do. Board the ship. Look at Constable Oliver. Let's go and talk to Constable Oliver. I think he's probably cleared his name now, but let's just have a... I don't think he's a Roman anymore. I thought he might be because he was at the boat crime scenes, but... Nah. Constable Oliver seems to be a little... simplistic. But I don't think he's a bad policeman. Let's have a word with him, shall we? Hello, Constable Olivier. It's Oliver. <laughs> good job in the tunnel. I just wanted to say that you did a good job in the tunnel. Hmm, thanks. How did you know how to get the train moving? I've come from a family of miners, and my uncle is an engine driver down the mine. I see. And you looked over his shoulder? Yeah, best way to learn. The Raven. Did Legrand tell you about his theory? That it could be the real it could Raven? Be. Of course he did. We're partners. But the modus operandi doesn't fit at all. The Raven wasn't a bomber. We have the letter. And the feather. That's I don't think it's him. Symbol. I don't think it is. Anyone can put a feather in an envelope. You would know. What's that supposed to mean? He thinks I'm the Raven? It was you. What was me? You put the envelope on the safe. To blow myself up? You threw the bomb away, and now you're the famous oh my hero, God. right? And the Raven must have paid you pretty well. That is ridiculous. Is it? Only you and I and Legrand were in the freight car. One of us must have put the envelope on the safe. Or he just did it Legrand beforehand. Didn't, and I. Didn't. He's the Raven. I tell you my mind. He's the fucking Raven. Everyone's the Raven. Maybe I am the Raven. I'm so confused right now. Okay, anyway, let's uh, have a look over here. Who's this person? Go to the young woman's car. I think we have a new character here. Amazing how much luggage there is for so few passengers. And I guess that three quarters of it belongs to the That's rather sexist thing to say, dude. Uh... Fine car. Who's whistling at her but for a minute? Oh, God. nothing compared to the young lady yeah. who owns it. Okay. Who could she be? a movie star or something? Yeah. A millionaire's daughter? She's certainly attracting a lot of There's attention. There's no one else here! Can we talk to her? He won't let me talk to her, so I guess that's that. What else is around? Is there anything else around here that's worthwhile looking at? Enjoy the view. What a beautiful view of the Mediterranean. The sea is quiet today. Ideal conditions for a cruise. And what else do we have? Why are we looking at that crane? In my younger years, I might have considered abseiling from the crane down to the ship. But those days are long Maybe past. we can climb inside one of the suitcases. I'm just going to have one more look over this way in case there's something I can do. There isn't a lot I can do here by the looks of things. Um, I'm going to try and board the ship and just see what happens. Probably going to get punched by the guy. Okay, do your best to camouflage. I don't want to run into Legrand before I have something new to report. Otherwise, he'll send me back to shore. So what am I missing? There's something I'm missing. Wish he wasn't such a slow walker. Jesus Christ. I'm just, just gonna... Just gonna take... Take ten minutes to walk. There's nothing here. There is literally nothing here. So let's go the other way. Oh my god, guys. This could take a while. There's got to be something about the car. Unless there's something about the truck over there. Okay, so we're going to... We'll try the car again in a second. I'm just going to... Why does it want me to press B on that? Say something useful, Zalna, otherwise I'll be mad. Bruh. I'll be much. Uh, we said that. No, 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 don't. Blah, blah, blah. Look. Okay. It's got to be to do with the car. There's nothing else here. Can I go up this little stairs here first? Stairs here? Can I? No, it's literally to do with this car. Okay. I'll take it. Okay, we get to get a closer look at the luggage. Look. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Al. Oh, 
I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting anyone to be crawling around on the ground in front of my door. Don't worry about it. supposed to be an English? American accent. No harm done. Oh, that's good to hear, Mr. That's a bad accent. Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. May I ask your name? Patricia Mayers. Are you American? I am. Guessing you probably aren't normally. Um, could you help me, please? <laughs> I guess we're gonna. Oh. Uh, certainly. Oh, we'll carry her shit on board. Are you on your way to Egypt? Yes. Are you on holiday? My father works for a railroad company there. And is rebuilding the country after the war. Wonderful. Yes, wonderful. She doesn't sound too sold on the whole idea, to be honest with you. One more. Well, let's carry all her stuff on board, and then I can go incognito as a baggage carrier. You're lucky to have a father who takes you to so many interesting places. Oh, yes. Lucky me. Aren't you interested in Egypt? The pyramids? She doesn't want to go there, dude. The it's fucking obvious. I would have been more interested in a father who doesn't travel 300 days a year. <laughs> I'm sure your father regrets that he can't always be with you. No doubt. They're a and band. I'm sure he always wanted the best for me. But that doesn't stop him from thinking only about himself far too often. Take the luggage. Oh, we're going to carry everything on board. Bring my luggage on board, please. Excuse me? It was a pleasure meeting you. Can't She's a bitch, me. and she has a weird nose. Impertinent. I blame Gakanyis. Oh, I've got an excuse to get on board now, surely. Oh, hang on, what's he doing here? That guy's a dishbag. It's the Nazi guy. What are you doing here? You're the Raven! Hmm. Is the Doctor afraid to board the ship? You have a quick chat with him, too? Hello, Dr. Gebhardt. Nah, the hero of the hour. The hero of the hour, but out of work. Can I get inside your suitcase, oh. sir? You won't be a policeman anymore? Yes, but on my old beat, which is almost as good as being out of work. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Is your new job bothering you? On the contrary. I wasn't sure whether I made the right decision What's until now. What's his new now. job? I wasn't paying until attention. The Black Forest, oh, know. yeah. There gotcha. are only mountains there. <laughs> no ships. But now... The salty breeze, the atmosphere. I think I want to stay at sea I get forever. really seasick, guys. Like, properly seasick. Oh, God. Stuff's happening. The sea is one thing. The passengers are another. <laughs> it will be okay. Uh, kept the Baroness, I guess? What do you know about the Baroness? She's the Baroness. Mm. Nothing, really. Did you talk to her in the tunnel? No. Her butler was looking after her, and I was busy with Miss Miller. As you can imagine, it was a shock for her to see her son rolling away on a burning train. Oh, that sounds pretty shocking to me. That's fair. understandable. So, we were all glad when we heard about your brave deed. Captain of the ship. Have you already met the captain? Mario Di Conti. Heard of him? Should I have? He is something of a star. Oh, he's Italian. We're going to have a mix of accents, guys. Hero. In the First World War, when he was a young man, he sank more enemy ships than anyone else. In the Second World War... Yeah, I was going to say, that's well, probably a contentious subject. He had some you know, personal problems. You mean, like the ones you buy in bottles and pillboxes? Mm, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> anyway, sending him into combat was out of the question. They gave him a supply ship instead, and he became a hero again. His ship part of a convoy from Palermo to North Africa was the only one that made it, with an extra 100 seamen who he rescued from the other ships. Impressive. To say his health is rather shaky these days would be an understatement. I think most of my time on board will be spent dealing with his Wonderful. That doesn't sound like ends. a captain I really well, want to deal with. There's nothing left for me to do but to wish you a good trip. Oh. You are not coming with us? Unfortunately, no. I'm to go Smuggle back me to inside your hat! What a pity. Get me inside your hat! Take care, Dr. Gibbard. I want to go in your hat. Keep an eye on the other passengers. Oh, it's him, douchebag. They're all just going on this boat. 
It's going to be exactly the same people who are on the train past the movie star. And the captain. Oh, I just remembered. We found these in the tunnel. Are they yours? I'm afraid so. Strophantine, do you have heart problems? Especially when I'm on burning mm. trains, I do. Maybe it's for the best that you're not coming along. Too much excitement could be bad for your health. You mean, if I don't do anything, I'll probably have a few more years to live? I'm gonna sneeze. That's right. <laughs> Keep your chin up. Jesus. There's a snot on my pot filter there. Wonderful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, uh. oh, dude. He threw them away. Well, I'm gonna see how long I've been recording, guys. So, one second.